What's going on everybody? Do you want to learn how to do this? I'm going to show you how to import 3D text into any of your clips in After Effects and we're going to get into it right after the intro. Hello everybody, my name is Ninsky and welcome to Your Content Hub, where I help you make your content better. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import 3D text using Element 3D in After Effects into any of your clips or any of your cinematics. Now you can do this on any of your content being a, a gaming content or real life content, doesn't matter. I'm going to use a game clip that I recorded, so I would go, go ahead. We're going to go ahead and get into it right now. So now that I'm in After Effects, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to 3D camera track your clip so that you have somewhere to put your 3D text. So what you're going to want to do is go over to Effects and Presets and type in 3D Camera Tracker and click on this and drag it over and drop it onto your clip. Now what I always do is I always like to have it go uh, as advanced as I possibly can. So go right over here and click this down arrow for advanced and then click detailed analysis. And then if you look up here, you have 0%, 1%. Uh, this is the amount of time that you have until it is finished. So I'll come at you when it is done finished uh, tracking. Okay, now it is finished tracking and you see all these little points right here. If you don't see these points right here, go up here to 3D camera tracker and you just click on this right here and the points will show back up. So all these little points are little points that I could track, uh, track my 3D text to. So I'm just gonna find an area where there's not a whole lot of like moving. They're not, there's not like a bunch of like coming in or coming out. Uh, essentially, just find a nice group of area. Group, <laughs> nice, find a nice area where there are some. So I'm just gonna highlight like these right here. And you see that little red plane that showed up? That is where the camera, uh, that's where the text is gonna be tracked to. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and then I'm gonna hit create null and camera. And then down here it is create a created a null and a camera. So the null is that little thing with the arrows, the red, blue, and green arrow. That is where the text is going to be tracked to. Don't worry, you can move the text around, but uh, it just has like an anchor point of where uh, it, it's going to be at. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on the uh, down here in your project area, click new and solid. And then it doesn't matter. I don't believe it matters what color it is, but I'm just going to name the solid element because we're going to have element put on there. So now you're going to go over to your uh, effects and presets and you're going to type in elements. And this is if you have element 3D installed on your computer. So element 3D. So click and drag this and put it on top of my element layer. And now it'll show up. So now element is now on that layer. So now I'm going to go and type a text that I want by right by right clicking new and text and I'm going to type uh, some text that I want. I'm going to do tutorial and I'll change the text font to something a little different and be like that. So I think that's fine. So now, now you just, uh, uncheck the, you don't need to see the words tutorial. So you can just hit the little eyeball icon over here to uncheck it and make sure you save your project and now click on your element layer and then under custom layers, click the down arrow and then under custom text and masks, Click that down arrow and under path layer one, you're going to select your text. I'm gonna hit tutorials, there we go. And then also to make it look like the text is more in the scene, we're gonna apply a texture uh, uh, maps to it, texture map to it. So hit this te custom texture map down arrow and under layer one, you're going to put the clip, the clip that you are putting your 3D text onto. So this clip right here for me is called time remap uh, clip no text. So I'll click on that and then there we go. Make sure you save constantly. And then now that we have all that done, now we're gonna go to scene setup. So click the word uh, scene setup. And we are here in element 3D. So now uh, I'm gonna hit the extrude button up here. And there's my 3D text. So I'm gonna make the 3D text look a little bit um, different by going to my presets. And I'm just gonna make it look like, I don't know. So apply a little, I'll apply the little silver effect to it. So after you've got this, uh, you can mess around with the extrusion and stuff like that by going up here, uh, hitting this down arrow and, and clicking this right here. And then this extrude will like make it extrude more however you want it. So now that I've got it kind of how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit OK. And then it will now be inside of the scene. So it is now tracked in the scene, 
but we want to link the, this text, we want to link it to the null object. So in order to do that, you're going to go up to group one, hit the down arrow, particle replicator, and this is where the 3D text is on your scene. This is the X axis, this is the Y axis, and this is the Z axis. So in order to track this 3D text to the null object, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the track null and you're going to want to hit P on your keyboard. P stands for positioning. And then go back to element and go to your uh, particle replicator where the positioning of this is. And we're just going to copy control C and control V, copy and paste this track null position into the, the position of the 3D text. Copy, paste, and copy, paste, and hit enter. So now that is now tracked to the null object. But you can see that the text is way back there. It's really small and it's not where exactly where I want it to be. So I'm gonna drag my drag my timeline back to the very beginning and I'm gonna go up here to the particle uh, replicator section of where the 3D text is. And I'm going to try to adjust it, maybe drag the Z. Which way is that? Try to make the Z a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe take my X axis and drag it more toward the center. And let's see how this looks. Oh, that didn't work. So <laughs> if it's if it's really jumpy and stuff like that, it's because your effects. Your effects are uh, there. There's keyframes on this. You can see it kind of like it moves like this. I don't want the text to move like that. So just go ahead and delete these keyframes right here under the positioning. So I'll just delete those keyframes. And now I'm going to continue to make it maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, I'll just hit, let's just see what it looks like right here. So that it's very far forward. That's not how much, that's not how forward I want it to be. So I'm going to uh, move it back a little bit with the Z that's moving it forward, I believe. So I'm going to move it a little bit further, a little bit more backwards. And I think that's a good enough area, but now it's really small text and I want it to be bigger. So I'm going to go over here to my particle replicator again, or I'm sorry, not particle replicator, uh, particle look and then particle size. And then I'm just going to go ahead and increase that size to uh, something that I think is fit for this tutorial. And there we go. There we have the 3D text in the scene. But if you would like to make the text like look like it's moving or something like that, then this is what you can do. You can go under your particle replicator and then particle look again. I'm sorry. Yeah, just go to particle look and then under multi object, click that and then enable multi object to just check that box right there. And all this stuff will show up. Now you can mess around with all this stuff like this. It's going to have it like rotate. And I think I'm just going to show you the rotation, but you can mess around with like all of these different, uh, all of these different settings right here to have the text move. But I'm just going to do this, uh, this right here first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the, the Z rotation, the Z rotation. I'm going to hit the little stopwatch right next to it to uh, make a keyframe. And then I'm going to go ahead in my clip to maybe like, the very end, I'll go to the very end and then I'm going to grab this right here and I'm just going to move it. Just move this to maybe plus 95. doesn't really matter how much you, it just depends on how much you want. So now if I go back here, the text looks like it is moving. You can do it in any sequence that you want to. So you can make it go faster, slower. You can rotate it any kind of ways you want. Mess around with these things on the left hand side right here because you can do some really, really cool things uh, with this effect right here. So this is how you do 3D text into a scene. Now you can do it in any kind of scene, real life, gaming, etc. As long as you have a moving camera, uh, then you can do it. You can do it without a moving camera, but you won't be able to do the 3D camera tracking. So, I mean, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. So if you learned something, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel below. It really helps me out and it notifies you whenever I upload a new piece of content similar to this. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.